What's up guys, I'm Sean. Today I'm gonna to be installing a differential breather mod on my third gen Tacoma. The rear diff already comes with a one-way breather valve right up here. But if you do any type of deep water crossing where the, your differential is fully submerged, this one-way valve can get contaminated. So the idea is that we're gonna replace this and move the breather valve up higher. So if you're doing deep water crossing, you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, contamination or water getting sucked into the diff. These are the parts I picked up from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. A Toyota Union, there's a part number. An aftermarket differential breather by Dorman. 5 16 fuel line hose, about five feet long, and some hose clamps. We're gonna remove the factory one with a 14 millimeter. Remove the factory diff breather. Now we're going to install the Toyota Union and tighten it down with a 12 millimeter ratchet. The Toyota Union is tightened down. Now we have to install our hose. Now we're going to get our kit ready. So the hose clamp, the Dorman breather valve into the hose. Tighten on the hose clamp. Now we're going to go back to the truck with this. Saw the hose clamp over the hose. Slide this over the Toyota Union we installed. I'm going to slide down the hose clamp, but I'm not going to install it yet. Now let's figure out how we're going to run this hose. I did a test running the hose to the driver's side tail light. I didn't like that. The hose is about a foot short. And then I did a test running the hose to the passenger side cubby. I didn't really like that either. So I ended up running it towards the fuel nozzle. I'll show you in a second. But let's tighten down this hose clamp right here. And let's zip tie all the wires up cleanly. I use a long zip tie to help snake the hose up underneath the bed and towards the front, towards the field neck. I think I like it here, so I'm gonna zip tie it up here. <clears throat> All right guys, that's a wrap. Differential breather mod installed. I ran the diff breather hose all the way up behind the field neck. And it's tucked away back here. And it comes with a cap right there, so it's really protected. Tucked high and out of the way. I don't plan to do any water crossing above my rock sliders anyway. So, it being way up here, it's plenty high. I don't have any fender liners because I got rid of the fender liners when I trimmed my fenders to run my 35s. But you have options to run your hose for your diff breather. I chose to run up here instead of to the tail light or instead of to the cubby tucked away up here I ran the hose right here and there's plenty of slack so the suspension can flex without putting any stress on the hose I loosely zip tied it right there so the install is pretty straightforward I recommend buying a longer hose maybe six or seven feet that way you have more options where you want to run it now it's time to go test it on some water crossings Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. The front already has a breather valve that runs up through the engine bay. The rear doesn't. Therefore, it's important to have a diff breather valve that runs higher than your diff if you're planning on doing some water crossing.